Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all glory, and honor to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh. Um, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, this is Soldier Ariella. Um, and I just wanted to do this quick little video. Um, and this is no shade on, on anyone um, at all. But uh, I just want to just want to touch on some things um, that we should be doing as men in this truth. All right. Now I did a video f probably about a month ago now about there's a difference between knowing the truth and being in the truth and living the truth. Right. So truth music. I'm all for it. I rock with it. I enjoy it. I listen to it, okay? Being a truth rapper is not doing the work. It's not doing the work of your how about shim your how shy. Alright? In all actuality, if you are a man, alright, so called black, Hispanic, and Native American man from one of the various 12 tribes, you have a responsibility. Now, I'm gonna keep it real simple. This is gonna be just straight up milk for the most part. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So, again, we know that we're Israelites now. We know that we're not Negro, we're not Hispanic, we're not Latino, we're not N Indian, all right? We're not these bywords that the so-called white man has put on us, as well as, the, as these other nations, right? We now know that we're Israelites. So this is Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now Israel, what doth Yahweh thy power require of thee? But to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve him. Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of Yahweh and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So keeping the commandments of Yahweh is going to profit us, okay? It's going to profit us, all right? And pursuant to Torah, all right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, he, come, he came all right, of course, for, for the elect, the nation of Israel. And he came to preach down his own doctrine, preach down his own words, not his own gospel, but that which the Father gave him, right? So this is Deuteronomy 18 and 18. And I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee. So he's speaking to, to Moses. And I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. So if Yahweh Shah gave a commandment, all right, that's a commandment coming directly from the Most High God. All right, part of the laws is to do whatever the Most High commands. So, for instance, when the prophet Jonah was commanded to go uh, to go preach unto Nineveh, and he said, "Nah, I'm not going to do that." What happened? There was consequences. It wasn't a good situation because we just read that. All right, keeping the commandments, which is our duty, which is our responsibility, is for our good. Okay, so here we see here in Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, 18th and 19th verses, that who Yahweh was going to send, Yahweh Shai, his son, all right, everything that he, he, he spoke, Yahweh Shai spoke, was the, the direct command of the Most High God, Yahweh, all right, verse 19, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it require it of him. So the things that Yahweh Shai uh, taught, the things that he commanded, all right, we are required to do so, all right, especially us men. Let me get to the Gospels real quick. This is Deuteronomy, uh, this is Matthew 10 um, and verse 5, and it reads, These twelve... Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the, the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach. Preach, all right? Saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils freely. Um, ye have received freely give all right so we're required to go out to the highways and hedges right we're, we're commanded to go out 
and and fish for our people. We're commanded to go out and, and bid as many to the marriage. Let me get this other precept. Okay. Okay. One second. It's a lot. is book of Matthew chapter 22 22 and verse all right so I'm gonna start with the context so yeah this is Right from the top, and Yahweh shall answer, this is Matthew 22 and 1, and Yahweh shall answer and spake unto them again by parables and said, Now, Yahweh shall spoke in parables for a reason, all right? When the disciples asked, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said, Because the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are for you, but they're not given to them, right? So he's speaking to, to, to his disciples, all right? And Yahweh shall always said, He that has an ear, let him hear. So if you got the, the ear to hear this message, listen and understand right verse 2 the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son all right and sent forth his servants to all them that were bidden to the wedding and they would not come so that's just the context right now let's jump down to verse 9 and it reads actually i'm sorry verse 8 it says then he said to his servants the wedding is ready but they which were bidden were not worthy Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. The wedding was furnished with guests. So who's inside these churches? The people that aren't worthy. Your Eric Basins, your Volcam Malones, your Dr. Eric uh, Michael Heisers, all right? All these these so-called pastors, all, all these so-called prophets and, and preachers and evangelists, right? They're inside of these buildings, all right? These temples, all right? They don't go out into the highways and hedges, all right? And we we freely bid these brothers to repent, come back to the truth, right? Right, the ones that are Israelites, right? But who do you see going out on the highways and hedges? The servants of the Lord, right? These servants. So these servants go out into the highways and hedges. Yes, this is a parable, but Yahweh is commanding you to go out into the highways and hedges. We just read it in Matthew the tenth chapter. Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Don't be dealing with, uh, don't be teaching this to to these you know, to these heathens, right? Okay, you gotta preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and as men of the Lord, we have to go out into the highways and hedges. Right, being a truth rapper, all right, rapping the truth, all right, being on the internet, being on, you know, making, you know, IG and Facebook posts. Yeah, that's all cool. But guess what? That's that stuff should be secondary. All right, that stuff should be, you know, auxiliary. That stuff should be just a little, a little extra, a little icing on the on the cake. All right, brothers, do these sit downs. That's just extracurriculars, right? Because what we're not storing up treasures here on earth we're, treasure, we're storing up treasures in heaven heaven trying to build up that spiritual bank account all right so what we have to do as men according to torah right according to the laws of god is that we are required to listen to whatever yahweh shah commanded all right yahweh shah tells you to jump you say ha ha simple because that's a direct commandment from the most high god all right and he told his he told his disciples if you're truly a disciple you're going to do what Yahweh Shai said. What did Yahweh Shai said? He said in Matthew, uh, John, the 14th chapter, if you love me, keep my commandments. He commanded. Let's go back to Matthew 10, man. It says, these 12, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded, and commanded them saying, see that? Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, all right? What did Yahweh Shai do? He went forth preaching, saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He did that, 
and we're supposed to follow Christ. Christ is supposed to be that example, right? He's supposed to be our big brother who we're trying to model ourselves after, all right? And the elect, whoever those men are, Lord willing, I'm part of that number, the, the elect are going to are going to follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. You read that in the book of Revelation. Um, you know, one more precept, a couple more precepts. Um, Bear with me. I'm trying to find it. All right, so let's go to, let's so line these up real quick. Let's line these up real quick. The book of Revelation. And this is Revelation, the 14th chapter. All right, and it reads, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as a voice of many waters, and as a voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts, and the elders. And no man could learn the song but the hundred and forty. Forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever He goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. All right, now let's go to. So this is the pro uh, the prophet. Uh, John the Revelator, all right, and he's seen the same thing that the prophet Ezra, all right, Azariah in the, in the Hebrew, what he saw. Um, and this is uh, Second Ezra, the second chapter, verse uh, 42. And I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom, cannot, whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, stature taller than the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. And I asked the angel, and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. So when we go out into the highways and hedges, all right, this is the, to, to tie the, this whole thing together. All right, when we go out to the highways and hedges, we got to profess the name. So we got to know the name of the Most High God. We got to know that it's a Yahweh, not Ahaya. We have to know that it's Yahweh, not Yahuwah, or Yao, or Jehovah, or Yahweh. His name is Yahweh, all right? We got we to gotta confess the name of the Most High, all right, to receive that crown, all right? Verse 46, then I uh, said unto the angel, what young person is that? Uh, is it's a lot. What person is that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? And he answered and said unto unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. So we have to confess who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? We have to confess him in the world. How do we do so? By going out onto the highways and hedges. All right? Trying to reel in as many of our people, wake up as many of our people as possible as whoever the Most High God wants to wake up. 
all right? Condemn the wicked of our people. Condemn the other nations. Because uh, Jeremiah, let me get that real quick. Because we do have to give um, the heathens their judgment. And let them know what's good, all right? This is, uh, this is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. So when we go out there, we prophesy against America, Babylon the Great. All right, we prophesy against the so-called white man, all right, Esau, right? We prophesy against these, you know, these countries, right? And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, all right? Verse 9, the prophet which prophesied for peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known, and Yahweh have truly sent him. You see that? We gotta we gotta we gotta give these these nations their judges, man. Alright? So continuing in second Esther, the second chapter, um, and I'm gonna pick back up at verse forty seven. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. So we have to confess Yahweh Shai. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. We have to stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. We have to stand stand stiffly for Yahweh while Yahweh shot. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shot, right? Verse 48. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahweh thy power thou hast seen. So again, we got to let our people know what's going on. We got to let our people know that, 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 the, the hour is almost near, all right? We got to let our people know that, that they need to wake up, that, that they have to repent, all right? Come back to their true uh, power, the Most High God, Yahweh, all right? That they have to have faith in His Son, all right? We have to stand fervently and teach this. We have to go out into the highways and hedges and teach, all right, the Most High's people, our brothers and sisters, the truth. Because in all actuality, that's love. With the brothers who go out to the highways and hedges, may, though we may be... Uh, some brothers may be rude in speech, all right? They, they may not be able to speak eloquently or may, or, you know, brothers, you know, go out there and they're not sparing your feelings. They, they're not sugarcoating nothing. They tell, tell our people, yo, you better repent or the most high God's going to kill you. That's called tough love. And according to the scriptures, we got to love, we got to love our brothers. And what is love? All right, let's go to, let's go back to the, to the beginning, all right? Go back to Leviticus. This is Leviticus 19. Um, and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So the opposite of hate is love. Right? This is milk. Like this is like straight up almond milk. Right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So we gotta let our people know, hey yo, bro, you're going off. You're sinning. All right, the wages of sin is death. All right, the Most High God told us that we we need to keep these commandments for our good. So if we really truly love someone, we want what's good for them. Right, verse eighteen: Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. See, this is substantiate substantiating who your people are, who your brother is. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. Yahweh saying, you better love your neighbor. You better love your fellow so-called Black Hispanic and Native American man, your fellow Israelite. Because I am Yahweh. I am he that exists. I created you, right? So that's that's what love is, all right? So by going out to the highways and hedges, doing what uh, Yahweh Shah commanded of us, doing what he did, right, that's showing love. All right, yeah, we're not going to be able to show our people the same amount of love that Yahweh Shah showed us, right, by, by putting his life on the line. And some brothers are going to be martyrs, but the point is this. That's, that's love. This is a form of love. Let's get another witness. All right. This is First John, chapter uh, five, um, and verse, and verse two. Actually, I'm sorry, verse one. Whosoever believeth in that Yahweh Shai is Hamashiach is born of the Most High, and every one that loveth him that begat that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this, this is the measuring stick. By this, we know that we love. The children of the Most High, when we love the Most High and keep His commandments, right? We already read that the Most High God is going to put His words in Yahweh Shai's mouth. All right, so whatever Yahweh Shai spoke are the direct commandments of the Most High God. 
Verse 3, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Going out to the highways and hedges, all right, going out to 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 fish for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, it's not hard. It's, it's not like a difficult and grievous thing, all right? We got 24 hours in a day, all right? Brothers may spend, you know, 8, 10 hours, you know, at work. But what, you know, what, 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 what's so hard about taking maybe two, three, four, five hours out of your day to go out and, and, and preach the gospel, to preach the good news to our people, to our people that desperately need it. It's not grievous. It's not hard. All right. If you truly love your people, you will go out. You, you will put your boots on. All right. You'll put them boots on the ground. All right. You will sack up. You'll gird your loins like a man and go out and do the work. And that's just that. You know, again, this is not, this is not, um, to shade any brother, this is to uh, this is to exhort brothers and to show brothers that yes, you can, you too have a part to play. You too, all right, can go out there and do the work. And guess what? You don't gotta be a teacher, all right. You don't have to, all right. You can you can go out there and you can you can be on the camera. You can go out there and hold a sign. You can go out there and hold posts, all right. You can go out there and read. It's not hard. It's really not hard to to just go out with a group of brothers. All right, I'm not saying you got to join any specific camp or whatnot. All right, but it's the camps that are, that are that stem stem from one west that are pushing this truth at a high capacity, at a high at a high uh, frequency, and at a high volume. Those are the men that are doing it. All right, so it's not a hard thing to get together with a couple of couple of Akim. All right, go out, you know, maybe go two by two. All right, y'all hand out flies. Uh, you, you, you pull Jake over to the side, you know, get your feet wet. All right. When I first came into the truth, when I first truly understood the doctrine, understood that salvation was strictly for Israel, understood that there's no such thing as a virgin birth, understood some of the core principles of uh, of what some will call one West Hebrew Israelism. All right. When I understood those those core tenets. All right. I was like, all right, I need to get out there and do what these brothers are doing. I need to go out there and teach my people. All right, I need to go out there and, and do my part. And I thought in my mind that the Most High God was going to kill me if I didn't go out there. So I was trying to find a camp, all right, trying to find some brothers to get with, all right. And boom, here I am over a year later, all right. Since I since the first time I went out as a prospect for the, uh, for the Sakari, guess what? I have not missed a single week. Of going out on the highways and hedges. Rain, shine, all right, snow, freezing degree weather, all right. We've we've gone out when it's been ten degrees with a negative eleven uh degree wind chill. There's no excuse to scripture say preach in season, out of season. And that's what we gotta do. We gotta go out to the highways and hedges because this is the commandment of Yahweh Shai, which is the commandments of the most high God. All right. I I, I pray this uh video touches someone, reaches someone. All right, uh, edifies a brother who's on the fence, all right, who, who's just coming to this truth, all right, who's trying to get built up. Reach out to, to brothers you see that, that you see doing the work, man. The Spirit's going to lead you to whatever camp, whatever occupant you need to link up with to go do this work. We have to do this work, all right? See, because when we look at um, the fact that we don't have a temple, right? We don't have a standing temple. Right, our temple was destroyed in seventy A.D. Right, but the but the prophet Zechariah prophesied about Yahweh Shah coming and building up that spiritual temple. All right, when you look at the 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 construct of the the temple, the the schematics and the blueprint of the temple, it's in the shape of a, of a, of a of a human like figure. All right, and guess what? The holy, the holy of holies, is one third of the 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 span of the temple. All right, and if you want to be of that one third, that elect, all right, that elect of the, of, of the elect, because Israel is the elect, but there's an elect inside of the elect. All right, if you want to be a part of that, guess what? You gotta, you gotta go out there and put your brick down. All right, help build up this spiritual temple. All right, you gotta, you gotta go in, just how you go to work and you clock in and put in, in work to feed your family. All right, to to bring home Federal Reserve notes to survive here in Babylon. Guess what? You gotta go out there each week clock in, all right, to build up that spiritual bank account, man, all right, to build up treasures in heaven, 
All right, that's what that's what we that's what we gotta do. If we truly love our people, or if we say that we truly love Yahweh, we truly love Yahweh Shai, we gotta do what they commanded us to do. All right, to the best of our abilities. Again, it's not it's excuse excuses are the tools of the incompetent. Built, used to build monuments of nothingness. We're supposed to be building this spiritual temple. All right, we're supposed to be building up these these spiritual bank accounts. All right, storing up treasures in heaven, not building up excuses. All right, it's not using excuses. To build up monuments and nothingness, all right? Excuses are tools of the incompetent, which are which are used to build monuments and nothingness. Those who specialize in making excuses seldom excel in anything else, right? If you can get your ass up and go out on the highways and byways once a week, all right? Once a week for a couple hours, you don't really love your people. You don't really love the Most High. You don't really love your high shot. And that's just, that's just according to the scriptures, I'm just calling as I see it, calling a spade a spade. All right, there's brothers out there I know that that have a that have a zeal for the Most High God that that want to see our people, you know, you know, come up. We got next, all right? You gotta put your work in in order for us to get next. We gotta we gotta put our work in because the scriptures. How much I said that the kingdom of heaven is within you. We had the potential to to for the kingdom of heaven to be established. The scripture said that the, the the days are, are going to be shortened for the elect's sake, all right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's within us. So we have the potential. We have to do our part, all right? We're, in all actuality, we're not waiting for Yahweh Shai. We're not waiting for the Most High. The Most High is waiting for us, all right? He's waiting for us. He's waiting for us to get to get in line, all right? He's waiting for us to do what we got to do, all right? And with that, I'm going to say, um, you know, I hope this video was edifying. All right, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Hashem, Baruch Atham to all you Akim out there who's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, going out week in and week out to all the elders out there who labor in this truth and who taught us this truth. All right, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.